People always think if you have this job, it means you're like an outgoing kid. It means you're like really outgoing and you're the class clown when you were a kid and you just develop into a comedian. I was a shy kid. I was painfully shy. I was a heavy set kid, a little chubby kid. I had asthma in middle school. Anybody have asthma here tonight? Hold your inhalers high. Okay. <laughs> Didn't know we were clapping for asthma, but that's fine. <laughs> But it is, asthma's great though. Let me tell you why. Because middle school, my little doctor's note, that was my get out of gym free card. Boom, hand that over. That's your copy, all right? I'm gonna have a seat back here. <laughs> oh, we're climbing the big rope today. I don't think so. No, I will not be getting friction burns on my crotch. I'm gonna have a seat. Wheeze to myself. That was middle school, then high school came. That, that high school PE teacher wasn't having it. What is this, asthma? I can cure asthma. I said, you can what? His cure for asthma, y'all, he made me run what's called suicides. You guys know what that is? It's like a horrifying series of wind sprints. They call it suicide. I don't know who named that, but let me tell you something. If you make a little fat kid run back and forth until he dies, that is homicide. That is not. They will prosecute you, pretty sure. Middle school's no good, man, especially as a boy. You know, girls have it rough because, you know, you're always afraid of getting picked on by other girls and people tell rumors about you. Boys have it rough, too, and here's why. Because you don't know anything about anything, but you have to pretend that you're a big man and you know everything. Like when it comes to things about your body or sex or anything, we don't know anything. We're hoping that one kid in health class will ask the question that we want to know the answer to, right? These are health class heroes. That's what they are. They fall on the grenade for the whole class. So you can be like, what an idiot. He didn't know. <laughs> All righty, check. Good to know. For me, it was Chad Prophet. I'll never forget it. Sixth grade, we're in, uh, we're in anatomy class. We're in health class, going over the anatomy chart. Mr. Trawick, he's got his little pointer out. My teacher, he gets to the ovaries, you know, and Chad Prophet sheepishly raises his hand and he says, Mr. Trawick, where are my ovaries? <laughs> Mr. Trawick said, son, you don't have ovaries. And a lot of us laughed, but some of us were like, What happened to Chad's ovaries? How does Mr. Trawick know about it? 